Hi everyone, we are going to begin with the Check My Progress for Chapter 14. We're starting with 857 and there's another page to it, 858. We'll do that in another video. So let's go ahead and start with a vocabulary check. It says state whether each sentence is true or false. If false, replace the highlighted word to make a true sentence. So if it is false, we're going to correct it to make it true. And if it is true to begin with, we'll just go ahead and leave it as it is. So let's start with number one. A triangle with a right angle is a right triangle. True or false? Good job. That is true. Because if it has a right angle and it's a triangle, we call it a right triangle. Okay, good job. Number two. A polygon that has five sides and five angles is a hexagon. True or false? Now that one is false. Good job. False because a hexagon actually has six sides and six angles, not five sides and five angles. So let's write false first because that is false. And then what is the name of a polygon with five sides and five angles? Does anyone remember? Yes, that is a pentagon. Pentagon. P-E-N-T-A-G-O-N. Pentagon. All right, number three. An octagon is made when two rays share the same endpoint. True or false? Hmm. Well, if I think about what an octagon is, it's actually a figure. It's a closed figure or a closed polygon that has eight sides. So this just doesn't make sense to me. What happens when two rays share the same endpoint? Let's go ahead and put false here because it is false. And what they're looking for here, this definition, is made when two rays share the same endpoint. Rays is another word for lines. So let's look at this figure here. When I have a ray or a line here, and it shares the same endpoint right there with this ray or line here, this is what they're describing, this corner right here where these two lines meet. And that's actually called an angle. Angle, A-N-G-L-E, angle. And that's the definition for two rays sharing the same endpoint. So this one is false as well. All right, now let's go on to the bottom. We'll do four through six now. It says describe each shape and determine the number of sides and angles and then classify the shape, which is to give the name of the shape. Now we know one more time these are considered the sides and the angles are where these two lines meet. They touch here same endpoint. So these are the angles here. So this obviously has four sides and four angles. And this is called a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. And that's, that's the, um, the name for any shape that has four sides and four angles. So let's go ahead and look at how we spell that. That's Q-U-A-D. R-I-L-A-T-E-R-A-L, quadrilateral. All right, let's look at the next one. This is how many sides? You should know this from first and second grade. It says three sides, one, two, three angles. This is a triangle, triangle, T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E, triangle. By the way, this is a right triangle. Why? Because it has a right angle. Remember, a perfect corner is a right angle, so this is a right triangle. And now let's look at number six. It says, describe the attributes of the quadrilaterals below, and then classify it. So first of all, let's classify it first. Do you remember what this kind of a figure is? These lines are parallel here, the line on the left and the right, and the top and the bottom. That's the hint. They are parallel. Do you remember what it's called? Good job. It's called 
a parallelogram. Parallelogram, so let me spell that for you, P-A-R-A-L-L-E-L-O-G-R-A-M, parallelogram. Now, what else can we say about it? We can say that the sides are the same length, here and here, and that the lines are parallel. I just explained that. Remember we talked about in a previous lesson how the left and the right, if I were to keep drawing a line all the way up, all the way up, they would never touch because that's what parallel means. It means there are two lines that are the same distance apart but never touch each other. And it's the same with the top and the bottom too here. These lines are never going to touch each other. They're always going to be the same distance apart. So the attributes are the opposite sides are equal lengths, top and bottom, left and right, and also they are parallel lines. All right, very good. We'll come on um, with 858 in another video. We'll talk to you soon.